introduction to my channel and a get to know me video. So also I have some questions that people asked me on Instagram. Basically, my business name slash like YouTube name is Dolly Deja. So and I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm a business owner and a crochet artist. On this channel, I do vlogs, crochet videos, tutorials, and small business videos. What is my middle name? Middle name is Mo Deja. That's how I got my business name from and Dolly because I love to collect dolls and toys and stuff so I put the name together Dolly Deja. What is my favorite book? My favorite book is Slay by Brittany Morris. I think that's her name. I don't always have a favorite item but that was a very that was the fastest I ever read a book. It was so good. What is my favorite color? Y'all know this answer but my favorite color is pink. What is my favorite animal? My favorite animal would be cats. I have two cats, one named Peppa and Yevgeny. I also had two past pets, hamsters, which is my second favorite animal. I had a hamster named Sleazy and another hamster named Klaus. Klaus recently passed away in March and Sleazy passed away in 2021. And Sleazy was my first pet. My favorite holiday. This is a hard decision because I love Christmas, but I celebrate Christmas more than Halloween, but I love Halloween because of decorations and the vibes. I say Halloween because I love scary stuff. It is my favorite store. I guess Hot Topic. They have cute like Sanrio stuff and a lot of things I like. Like a craft store like Joanne, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, those type of stores. And also I do like Target. My favorite restaurants, currently Freddy's. Their food is so good. Who are some of my favorite YouTubers? My favorite YouTubers. Is Dashy Games. Dashy, I've been watching him since I was in the fifth grade and I'm like literally an adult now and I still watch him. So Dashy Games is one of my favorite YouTubers. Like and he's been like my first YouTuber and still my YouTube YouTuber that I still watch. What is my favorite movie? The OG movie, I would say Princess and the Frog. My favorite TV shows, my American Horror Story and Shameless. I love those shows. I also like On My Block. I love Everybody Hates Chris. Amazing with a Gumball. I love Adventure Time. I love Regular Show. I'm not a TV watcher. I'm more of a reader. I just became a reader. Like I recently got into reading like a couple years ago. Now we're gonna answer some questions from Instagram. Shing Amaya asked me, what is your biggest crochet goal? My biggest crochet goal is to be like real fast at it and just like Get it done because when I just want to be fast at it and just boom be fast and just make pieces and pieces and pieces like for my markets and stuff another crochet goal is like to be like have successful markets and just do do it big and I just want to like crochet and do art for a living and make content and I just do that also I also want to take care of animals and have a farm and do some animal related in the field while doing crochet Amy B on underscore 16 said I just want to thank you so much for the Freddie beanie pattern I love your work thank you so much and I'm so glad you love the Freddie Fazbear beanie I'm gonna try Freddie Fazbear beanie it is a free pattern it is located on my Instagram Instagram reels or my TikTok and it's really blew up on social media so they asked me how long have you been crocheting and what inspired you to start crocheting by the way I love you I love you too crocheting since like the fall of 2021 it's gonna be three years crocheting later on in the year what inspired you to start crocheting basically like like crochet class at school on a Friday it was like a Friday event and I just did the learning to crochet I did not know what crochet was before I started crocheting like I probably heard that word one time it's so crazy and we basically were we wouldn't even learning it right like it was kind of unorganized so I like I was kind of like freestyling like literally just doing whatever and then I eventually got into it I was like you know what this is kind of cute like I kind of like this it's kind of calming so I went out like got some other supplies and just started practicing from YouTube learning how to read patterns and I got like a crochet food book and I started learning from there and then I just I just started from there and like I don't know I don't really know what inspired me I guess like just the cuteness of the amigurumis because I love plushies that really inspired me it's like oh well, I can make my own plushies and do all this and do all that Trudy Crochets asked me what got you into crocheting what was your first project and how old are you 
basically what got me to crochet answers that question my first project it was basically like a coaster but that's not really a first project um first like project i think it's this burger right here i think my first project was like this burger from the cafe food book and i made like a little pouch and then i started going from there and then i started like making like the ice cream and these are basically like my first projects and i did fries with it look how like these are my first projects it looks like jacked up as you can see there you go. it looks all jacked up and then i i was making like oreos so like these are like my first projects like a little oreo these are the first projects before the burger i'm sorry but these are my first projects look look i did a little jellyfish with a bow octopus with a bow how old am i i am 19 years old my birthday is november 9th of this year and i will be <clears throat> 20 this year so if you're my birthday twin comment down below trudy crochet asked me another question how do you keep track of expense and tax tips will be great can i give any tax advice because i don't even know what i'm doing myself i'm still learning so i cannot give any advice on that all i can do is just say like if you're making a lot from your markets, just collect the taxes and put them in a separate account or put it to the side. That's all I can say. I don't know anything else. I don't know. You keep track of expense. So I have a Shopify business account and I basically just buy my business stuff with that like account. I haven't really been keeping track of my expenses if I'm being honest. I've been kind of freestyling just spending it on fun stuff like this camera and stuff. But soon I'm going to really like keep track of that stuff and do all that. Just have a separate like business account. And then just keep a notebook of like your business expensive expenses and stuff like that. Oh, it's raining. I didn't know it was on a rain day. Okay. X.whos.s4m asked me, have you made a Bonnie version of the Freddie Beanie? No, I have not. I was supposed to and then something happened personally in my life so I never got to it and I really really do want to get to it like I want to make like a bucket hat version since it's summertime I really do want to make the other characters but something had came up and I literally wrote down the design and everything and I never made it so maybe I can make it soon and I'm sorry for the people that that I told oh I'm gonna make it soon I'm writing it down right now and I never did and I'm so sorry still gonna make that uh, Bonnie version trust me still need to work on it and just get it started ink hooker asked me how many years have you been crocheting i guess i've been crocheting for two years now and it's gonna be three years coming up later in a year asia asked me how do you manage youtube and having a business so I haven't been posting and stuff like like i haven't been posting and it's just inconsistency but i'll be just focused on my market and then focus on my real job and now so what i try to do now is like don't like I try not to do too many markets like I do a month full of markets and then take a month off and just I'm gonna try to focus on YouTube while I do that to be honest I don't know how I manage YouTube having a business I'm still working on that old lady K boot boutique asked me what's something you always wanted to crochet would you ever learn in it something I always wanted to crochet hmm, would be like like a giant pillow maybe and I've been wanting to crochet some um, tops. I crocheted the top last year, but it was like too small and I felt it was like too showy. But I do want to crochet a sweater, a cardigan, I'm working on a cardigan. I do want to crochet some shorts I've been seeing some, and skirts. Maybe just make some wearables that I can wear out. Would you ever learn to knit? Yes, I would learn to knit because I already have the needles for it. And the reason I have these needles is because I use it for my plushies to keep the head and ears and stuff in place. But I tried to learn one time. I didn't really get it. But I think I do want to learn eventually. It kind of be hard. I don't feel like really learning all the terms and stuff. But maybe. Blazer World asked me, how long did you practice till you were good? Probably literally like a couple minutes. So like hours. Just do it. Like you just got to do it. Learn tension. Learn stitches. And just one, the more you do it, the more better you get. And I'm still getting better and better. Did you learn to crochet? I learned how to crochet from that little school thing that I'm basically self-taught. I taught myself. I was just freestyling and just doing whatever and I finally learned the stitches and then I learned going in the round and doing all that. And then I learned how to read patterns and then went from there. Once you learn how to read patterns, 
you know what to do because you don't got to sit and watch videos. So I basically learned from YouTube and freestyling. Like, when I say freestyling, I don't mean like just making anything. I mean like I was literally just figuring out how the yarn loops into loops and loops. I don't know how, but I was just doing it. Alternation Creations asked me, how do you file for business taxes for crochet? I do not know how to do that. I'm so sorry. I would I would try to look that up on YouTube. I'm still learning about that myself and I don't want to give out any wrong information. So yeah, I don't know the answer. I'm sorry. How do you create a shipping label? Two ways you can do it. I can't do a quick tutorial right now because it's like a Q&A video, but you could do it from your computer with a printer. You just get like label sheets from Amazon. They'll be like label sheets you put in a printer and it'll print out the label. And another way is a shipping label printer thing. You basically just get the four by six and then it's an app. So I recommend the Mumbin printer. It's pretty easy to use. Um, there's a link in my link tree. This pink one. I have the pink one right there. I recommend that. Can you do an in-depth of how to use a website and ship out things? I don't, I don't know if I, I don't know if I would do that because I don't really know much about using websites like I'm still new to the, all of this and shipping out things I know how to do shipping out things but like I don't know if I'm good enough to do a tutorial but I learned from YouTube and a lot of videos out there they can teach you how to do that I don't have any recommendations cause I don't really remember what videos I'm watching but as you keep doing it you learn how to like do it and get used to it but if you like ever need help just DM me on Instagram and I could probably like help you with something like but thank you so much for asking those questions those are all the questions people ask me on Instagram. If you're new here, welcome to my channel and I hope you guys love my videos. Eventually, I do want to maybe teach crochet and teach website things and do all that. But first, I have to like, you know, learn it myself first, like all the way, like all the way. I know some things, but I don't know everything. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Anything in comment with me, just comment down below and maybe we can chit chat. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video. See you later. Bye.